is the best way to move forward and what can be done differently in the future. The state house has assembled a committee to help with recovery. In St. John's County, as of Wednesday morning, more than 3,800 individuals or families applied for FEMA help. All power outages were restored as of yesterday, and President Trump expanded a disaster declaration for Florida that makes help available for our local counties, including St. John's. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway joining us live from St. Augustine in St. John's County and what's usually a busy tourist area. Ethan? And Joy, it is right now. St. George Street, where we are right now, is almost back to normal. You can see tourists out. The businesses are back open. That is good news for them here, of course. And that committee you mentioned is working to determine just how big the impact from Irma really is and how big it could be if another bigger hurricane came here in the future. How would you like that? At Sunset Grill on St. Augustine Beach, the lessons from less than a year ago were fresh on their minds. Uh, the impact of Matthew kind of instilled uh, a sense of diligence towards preparing for Irma. So when it actually hit, I feel like we were a little bit more prepared. A lot of our local customers and, and guests, they felt the same way. The restaurant saw some cosmetic damage to the exterior, but avoided any major flooding issues. Others here in St. John's County weren't as fortunate. I felt it was important to come up here to meet with the folks um, here in St. John's County to be able to understand what their unique needs are, what were the lessons learned here. We're really just trying to, to keep uh, very open and trying to get as much candor as possible from the people that we're meeting with as to not just what went well, but what could have gone better. Today marks the first meeting for the state's select committee on hurricane response and preparedness. Leaders from across the state met in St. Augustine discussing a number of hurricane related topics. Among them, how to avoid damage to structures, infrastructure and utilities, making evacuation and reentry more efficient and protecting vulnerable populations like the elderly and the disabled. For those at Sunset Grill, the state's response is helpful proud to be here and oh, I think they're doing the right thing and each one that comes they get a little bit better prepared so um, um, I support all their efforts to make it make it safe for us. Hoping the next hurricane is a long way off. And that committee plans to come together more in the future, brainstorming ideas on how to move forward from Irma and also, again, what to do if another hurricane heads our way. They plan to pass those ideas along to the governor's office moving into the upcoming year. We are live in St. Augustine, Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station.